What is up everyone, it is Sajambi and welcome back to another video. Following on from my previous backroom tutorial, today we'll be going through all of the sub-levels that you can visit once you reach the end of the opening level. In total, there are 10 sub-levels across the 9 portals which you can access once you have beaten the first level of the Roblox backrooms. Once you have beaten it, you are teleported to the rural area which is the main hub for the sub-levels. Some levels are easy to explore thanks to no threat of entities, while some will be more difficult to escape from. Let's go through each level to show you what you can expect. We begin with level 166, which is the first level you will encounter if you take the portals in order. The Roblox level is set in a nighttime suburban landscape with streets and houses which you can run through, including an underground maze of tunnels set in pitch black. You will spawn in the corner of a field to get out of the field and into the suburbs, run forward a bit and hop over the fence. Now despite being called level 166, this level is actually based on level 9 in the creepypasta and is quoted as a seemingly endless suburban landscape with the time of day being locked to midnight, which exactly fits the description of this level. To escape the game on Roblox, all you need to do is go to the small street which is in the centre of the map, and touch the greenhouse which is in the garden of the house on the right. There you'll be teleported back to the lodge. Next up is Pipe Dreams. This level sticks with the dark theme but is much creepier compared to level 166 due to its claustrophobic nature and the presence of entities on this level. That's right, make sure to stay on your guard and don't stray too far from others when exploring this level as you could meet an early end if you aren't too careful. Pipe Dreams is based on the creepypastas level 2 and follows much of the same format. They are quoted as long dim concrete maintenance hallways with steam pipes lining the walls and ceilings. While multiple entities exist in the creepypasta, only the main black creatures are present on the Roblox game. To escape, all you need to do is follow the wide maintenance halls, there are orange lights on the floor guiding the way, so as long as you are following the trail, you should have no issues. At the end, the exit door is behind a pipe, touch the door to return to the lodge. The third portal will take you to the Archive, which is our first exploration sub-level. With no entities initially on this level, you are free to look around and find some cool easter eggs or references to other levels, either within the game or in the creepypasta. There is a warning sign in the spawn room stating that when the lights turn red, do not enter the Archive under any circumstances. While playing, this has never happened to me, so I'm unsure whether this is an active feature in the game. This level is original to the Roblox game and is a nice creative addition to the backrooms concept. It certainly is creepy, especially when you're in a server by yourself. To leave the archive, simply go back into the spawn room and walk to the doors with a big exit sign next to them. Next up is another exploration level and it's the Liminal Office. This one is a much smaller map compared to the others and there aren't too many things to look out for in terms of easter eggs. The only thing of note that I found was the creepy message that you get when you look into the mirror. There are also a bunch of desks that you can explore, with most of them hosting your normal office supplies. You can have a look for yourselves and comment down below if you find anything cool. The liminal office on Roblox is based on Creepypasta level 4, which is known as the abandoned office on the Backrooms wiki. It's one of the safest levels in the back rooms and is described as an empty office building completely devoid of furniture. To escape, go to the room with a green carpet that is next to the spawn room and enter the elevator to return to the lodge. As soon as you enter the pool rooms, you will see that it is one of the more beautiful levels in the game. With white tiled walls, clear flowing water, it's a place that I wouldn't mind staying in for a while. While very different visually from Pipe Dreams, it has the same kind of map structure as the darkened corridors, since you need to follow a path to find an exit at the end of it. The one major change from Pipe Dreams is the fact that there are no entities in the pool rooms, so you can explore this level without the threat of a jump scare. This level is based on level 37 in the creepypasta, titled Sublimity. On the Backrooms wiki, it is described as an expansive complex of interconnected rooms and corridors slightly submerged in stagnant, lukewarm water. While there is a long path from spawn to the exit, 
The multiplayer nature of the game means that you should be able to follow the crowd to head in the right direction. Otherwise, since there are only a small number of exits per room, you will eventually head to the end by process of elimination. There are two parts to the pool rooms. Once you have teleported to the second, navigate the short second part and jump into the hole to return to the lodge. Next is the back rooms from Google Maps located in Japan, also known as the map rooms. This is another dark level where you'll need to navigate through small labyrinths and avoid entities in order to escape and return to the lodge. Compared to other sublevels, the exit of the map rooms is much more difficult to find, although it isn't as tricky as the main back rooms level. The giant hole next to a spawn is another thing to avoid. If you jump into it, you will die at the bottom and respawn back at the beginning of the sublevel. The map rooms are based on a real location found on Google Maps, which seems to match the original backrooms level, accompanied by a seemingly never-ending hole. The location can be found on the outskirts of Nara, east of Osaka in Japan, and has been the subject of many theories surrounding the backrooms. To escape, you'll need to make your way through the short maze which is at the back of the level when you spawn. The exit door is in the far left corner of the map, but be wary of the black entities associated with the game as they are well concealed in the darkness. Next up is the end. This is the first sublevel to have two distinct sublevels attached to it, I will explain why a little later. The end is described as a seemingly endless modern library with the main area in the centre decorated with the letters THE END. This level may seem small initially, with only some bookshelves and furniture to greet you, but turn around and you will see the room extend in an unsettlingly long way. You will need to run to the end of the room and touch the grey doors in order to escape. However, instead of being taken back to the lodge, you'll be taken to level 922-337-203-685-477-5807, otherwise known as the Abandoned Staircase. In this level, you will spawn with a door to your left and a corridor leading to a room on the right. Walking into the room on your right will reveal the Abandoned Staircase in all of its stone cold glory. Here, you'll need to climb the staircase to find freedom, and let me tell you, it's a very long way to the top. But why are these two levels connected? Well, in the creepypasta, the end is commonly referred to as a trap level, meant to fool wanderers into thinking they have escaped the back rooms. Some believe that the end is a cover-up to what is argued as the true final level, which is level 922337-whatever. This is why the two levels are linked on the Roblox game. A quick way to escape the abandoned staircase is to go through the door on your left when you spawn. This will take you to near the top of the staircase, go up some stairs and you will return to the lodge. Level 188 is the penultimate level that we will look at in this video, and we return to another relatively safe level. 188 consists of architecture resembling that of a hotel, a large court-like area is present in the center of the level, surrounded on all sides by numerous small square-shaped windows on each wall. To me, this feels like another exploration level where you can look around and explore as if you were there yourself, rather than relying on images. There aren't too many interactive features on this level, except for that one spooky window on the second floor, which caught me out the first time I saw it. Level 188 is based on the level of the same name in the Creepypasta series, with pretty much everything matching the description as it is mentioned on both the Wikidot and the Fandom Wiki. The real life location can be found at Heathrow Airport Terminal 4, which is referenced in the Roblox game on a wall next to the spawn. To escape, return to the courtyard and touch either of the double doors to the left of where you spawn. That will take you back to the lodge. Last, but certainly not least, is level exclamation, run for your life. Unsurprisingly, this is the most difficult level to beat, and is the only level which you can fail to complete. Level exclamation consists of a long hallway with architecture resembling a hospital. Flashing red lights are present, along with an audible emergency alarm noise. On this level, you will have two minutes to run through the hallways and reach the exit door at the end of all the corridors. 
you will need to dodge, jump over and roll through a number of obstacles which will make this such a challenging level. If the entities catch up, you'll begin taking damage until you die or run fast enough to escape. You have 150 HP and this does regenerate if you take damage and escape. There are two main ways to fail this level. You can take too much damage from the entities or you can run out of time and be kicked from the server. In both scenarios, you'll be taken back to the opening backrooms level to start all over again. Level Exclamation is based on and shares its name with one of the most dangerous sublevels in the backrooms lore, with wanderers having to run over 10 kilometers before reaching the exit. Thankfully, you don't have to run that far in the Roblox game to escape. While there is no easy tutorial for this level, I will give you some tips which will help you finish it. The first is to play in first person since you can jump and roll past the obstacles easier. I would also turn your sound off as the horn can be quite annoying. Lastly, don't panic if you are caught. Your health regenerates fairly quickly once you put space between you and the entities, so you can make quite a few mistakes and still make it to the end. That rounds up all of the completed levels in this game, however there is one more level that is currently in development which might be added to the lodge soon. It's titled Level Underscore HL and when navigated takes you to a secondary level to complete. Once I know more I hope to update you on what all of that is about. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it and hope you managed to learn a little something about the game and its sub-levels. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did enjoy it and subscribe and hit the bell icon for future videos. See ya!